an October day in 2016, a group of concerned citizens came to their favorite beach to learn and to see what sea level rise might look like. The purpose of this project was to help people in Sarasota understand where sea level was going to be in the years 2030 and 2040. Siesta Key is our favorite place to be, and we hope to preserve it for our children and grandchildren. Right. So I, I believe that we should definitely take a, a better, closer look at this. Um, so we have 5,000 miles of shoreline here in Florida, one of the most vulnerable states in the country. When we talk about sea level rise, people think in terms of height, how much taller the water will be. What most people leave out of that discussion is the run. How far is that water going to move inland as its overall height increases? Once it crests that little hill over there, it's going to wash right on up this beach. We're going to lose the beach. We're going to lose where the birds are nesting. We're going to lose where the turtles are nesting. We're going to lose our buffers for uh, our own infrastructure. This, this is the concerned community of Sarasota standing up to show what sea level rise is going to do to the number one beach in America. If we went to where the tide high tide was for that day. Then after filming there, we've moved back to where we estimate on the beach the tide will be, high tide will be in the year 2030. And then in the last frame, we've gone far past the beach to where we think the tide line is likely to be in 2040 that we can express while still staying on public property. So this is the tide line for 2016. And then we backed up to where the tide line is supposed to be in 2030 based on the NOAA 8-inch projections. And then in the last scene, we went to where the tide line was expected to be in 2040. And at this point, you can see with a two-foot high rise that the beach and the parking lot are underwater. Actually, I live a few blocks that way, so the water is going to be getting closer and closer and closer. Well, it may not impact me personally at that point. It's my kids and their kids and... Yeah, I mean, it was interesting to us to see this come and, and uh, because it's local uh, so you see the impact locally which is which is really interesting but then obviously you start to think about well if it's if it's happening here it's happening everywhere this event is is an art project this isn't telling people what they should do or what they must think it's an invitation to the conversation to learn more about sea level rise and to become crew of this spaceship earth please go to this spaceship earth.org